Hey everyone, my client here. If you have the same problem or the same issue than I have with the GoPro FX Reframe plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 and you get the error that a low level exception occurred, then stay tuned. I will show you my solution for this error and which works for me and I hope it also works for you as well. See you. Welcome back to solve the problem with the GoPro Reframe plugin. I'm my client, I'm a photographer, videographer and 360 content creator, so let's go right into it. Okay, at first GoPro was updating the GoPro FX Reframe plugin for PC and Mac. They have resolved the compatibility issue with Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 and the Metal and OpenGL compatibility with the graphic processor. With the plugin you can also use now the Insta360 RAW or INSV files. Okay, in short with this plugin you can control infinity perspective when you reframe, pan, tilt, rotation, raw, zoom and animation movements with the ease of keyframes. It's a very powerful plugin but you also need a lot of PC power or in my case you need to create some proxies. So when I was using the plugin in my 360 projects everything was fine. Then I reopened the projects on another day and the error list was going longer and longer and I didn't know what was happening. I've tried to toggle on or off the proxies, then I have changed the video rendering GPO from Metal to OpenGDL, which has worked in the older plugin version in the new um, PP2020. I also reset the preference with pressing Command and Alt and delayed the video rendering cache. Okay, what is the solution? The solution is you have to close Premiere Pro, then you open Premiere Pro and you open a brand new project. Next. Create a sequence, let's say 1080p, and then import the flat or the raw 360 files to it. Then you go under effects to the GoPro FX Reframe plugin and drag and drop it to your video file in the timeline. So this should work right now, right? If not, then there are maybe some old FX Reframe files from the 2090 version. Just check it out and delete them. Now you think, well done everything is working but when you then save the project close Premiere Pro and you open the project again it's the same error again. You maybe know what you have to do all the time. The solution is to always open a new project plus new sequence importing the files and then drag and drop the reframe plugin. Do not close Premiere Pro. You can open now the older projects where you already added 60 videos with the reframe plugin. Voila it works for me. I hope for you guys as well. I hope this solves also your arrow with the GoPro FX Reframe plugin and an Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Let me know if this video was helpful for you or you have any other question in the commentars. Give me a big thumb up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any future videos. I'm Mike Kleiner and I will see you in the next video. Peace and out. Okay, one, two, three, action, power, power. Bring the energy up. Okay. Three, two. And and call to action.